this video will be calculating the atomic packing factor of both uh, for single simple cubic bcc and um fcc so remember in our previous um video i calculated to tell us the number of atoms we have one atom we have two atoms and we have four atoms then for the coordination number we have six we have eight and we have 12. just for recap in case you never watched that video i'm just gonna like take it very quick so as you can see we have eight atoms at the la each um lattice point so these atoms are no complete atoms it's one over eight over one over eight times eight so that's how we go one atom here we have a single atom in the center which is one times one which is one plus the summation from our simple cubic we gave us two atoms then for the fcc we have um facing atoms remember i said this these atoms on each faces they are not a full circle they aren't something like they're actually slashed they are semicircles right so that's why i said it is see the the formula for this simple cube 1 over 8 times 8 close bracket addition of 1 over 2 times 6 we have six atoms on six um sides like a dice then 1 over 2 because it is semicircle not a full atom remember this guy was a full atom that's how we did one times one bcc has a pregnant atom in between that was how we did one times one in case this is too fast you should go back to watch the previous video where i explained it in a better manner so doing this math we have three one which is three plus one we have four for the coordination number remember i said this is our central point right then we stretch it z positive z negative z positive y negative y positive x negative x so that's one two three four five and six so i'll be raising that now then for our bcc which is very simple this guy is in the center so we stretch him to every lattice point one two three the one behind that we can see four five six seven eight so that is why we have eight sorry bad handwriting eight so for this remember i said you replicate a drawing you know after drawing the cubic after drawing this replicate it again at the top right so this is our center then this guy will stretch to each lattice point we have four here then we have four sides and another four side at the top so that's how it became 12 just please watch the video on my channel where i did a better explanation to all of those here we have 52 percent for our final answer here we have 68 percent for our final answer and here we have 72 percent for our final answer now let's go into the calculation i'll be deleting all of this now let me draw a face of this single um cubic sorry i keep saying single structure it's something like this so remember this is a radius like when we draw a circle this is the diameter but the center to the other hand is a radius right so that is why we'll be calling this a radius and this is also a radius so we'll see our a is equals to two radius a is equals to two r for the single cubic right then for the bcc structure we have so we have an atom in the center here right so now we are considering this diagonal and this diagonal so this let me change my ink so i can highlight well what points we are concentrating on in this diagram black ink so this is the triangle to which we are much more interested in knowing the length of each side right but then we don't know this guy we know this guy um we don't know this guy we don't know this guy we don't know the length so we need to find each length like in um um for various parts so let's start solving by redrawing things in a very very better manner so let's pick this down floor like this down segment so we want to find this length for this diagonal so we draw it out a flat surface right so we have this 
this and this so we have the pregnant atom which is double r's we have her and her because it's a diameter then for here we have one her then for here also we have one her that is how we derived four r's right since i have this space so here i have two r's remember for square all size are equal so if this is um two hours the two hours remember we said two hours are equals is equal to one hey two hours is equals to hey that's our total length here is hey okay let's call our diagonal b right so we apply our pythagoras theory where we say a square plus a square remember we have sorry let me raise this this is it this is in the for her the 4R is this diagonal, but this is also R and R, which derives another A. So that's why I say A squared plus A squared is equals to B squared, whereby uh, B squared is B square is, um okay, let's denote it by original. What is there? We have 4R, 4R squared. 4r into square is equals to a square plus a square right sorry i just switched things around so i have 4 times 4 which is 16 r square equals to 2 a square then we divide both sides by 2 2 in here 1 in here 8 so in year one in year one so we have a is equals to root 8 r square which is also which is also a is equal to 2 r root 2 so this is this diagonal we just found this diagonal so let me note it out here that this diagonal is equals to 2r root 2 a is equals to 2r root 2 okay so let's call this angle that we just this diagonal that we just found let's call it b right and this is a so i think i'll try drawing it out by making it look like this so we have a diagonal right so this is our b is equals to 2 uh, r root 2 and this is our a remember we have an atom here and an atom here which is r and r so the total distance is a then here we have the pregnant atom right so we have double r's this is also a radius and here we also have a radius so for this total length for this total length we have 4r right then b and a now we need to find this this um diagonal like the length so we go ahead by saying um remember i denoted it as d so we say d square is equals to a square plus b square so we need to remind ourselves that our b square is to be equals to a square plus a square if you remember from our first um equation when we derived this b square is to be a square plus a square so we bring that into the equation so we have our four r into square equals to a square plus now we are bringing this guy in a square plus a square so 4r times this we have 16 r square is equals to 3a square so we divide both sides by 3 3 year 1, 3 year 1. So we have our A is equal to roots of 16R square, sorry, 16R square over 3, which denotes down to 4 
r over root 3. So finally, we found our d, which is equals to 4r over root 3. So I'll be raising all of this. So here we know our a is equals to 4r over root 3. So for this guy, I think we don't really need to solve. Remember I said an atom on the face, then we have radius and another radius. So again, it's four R's. So we have double R, 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 and R. Then we have our, um, remember my drawing is always bad. So we have an R here and an R here. So if this is A, this is also an A because all sides of the square is equal. So we apply Pythagoras theorem again b squared d so our b squared is going to be 4 r squared into square equals to a squared plus a squared we know where this is going to lead to it take us down to a is equals to 2 r root 2 so this is for fcc we want to look for the APF as an um, atomic packing factor. So we know that APF is equals to volume of atoms over volume of cube or however your textbook defines it. So for the simple cubic, right? So we know it is, um, remember we said this guy has one atom. This guy has um, two atoms. This guy has um four atoms yeah and um the c coordination number for this guy is six coordination number for this guy is eight coordination number for this guy is 12. so next up we want to look for the apf of this um simple cubic so we go by saying number of atom one times the volume of atom which is um four over sorry four sorry let me raise and write better which is four over three pi r cube right over our a so we need to expand this by say we have one times 4 over 3 let me erase that please 4 over 3 pi r cube over our a which is this 2r sorry it is a cube a cube so we have um 2r into cube right which becomes one time it starts becomes itself 4 over 3 pi r cube over 8r cube so r cancel r so if you input this into your calculator you should have um 0 0.5236 then times 100 1 2 so i have 52 percent for this guy apf equals to 52 percent so i'm gonna be raising all of this now let's go to the bcc so for bcc remember is the same thing we say apf is equal to number of atoms which is two times four over three pi r cube sorry r cube over r a which is 4 r over root 3 or raised to power 3 or better still let me place this r outside here so it doesn't cause confusion 2 times 4 times 1 over 3 pi r cube sorry r cube over 4 
v3 sorry q times r cube so my r cube can cancel this then when you input all of this into your calculator you should have 0 0.68082 then times 100 it goes one two then i'm back to my 68 percent so you do the same thing for this guy remember it is equal to we have four times four over three by r cube over open brackets we have two r with two cube right so you can do the same thing we did here which was four times four times one over three pi then r cube over two root two cube times r cube so r cancels r then your final answer should be 74 percentage now I'll go ahead erase all of this and just write this 74 percentage yeah that's all for it and um notice it's all in volume 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 all right guys so that's all for today next video we'll be solving some mila indices and make sure you get to subscribe to this channel bye